Royal fans mocked Prince Harry after he was spotted partying in Miami last night on his way to London. A large number of critics accused him of using drugs in Miami as they commented on his pictures on social media. The Duke of Sussex was believed to be traveling alone to prepare for the high court case, which is about to begin. Harry's expected to return to London with his wife and children in May to attend the coronation of King Charles III. The couple recently confirmed that they've received an invitation to attend the coronation, but didn't say whether or not they'd be in attendance. The British media has reported that the royal family has been debating the role Harry and his family will have in the coronation. According to multiple reports, Prince Harry wants to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony along with other working royal family members after the coronation. It's strongly suspected that Harry was defying the law when he arrived in court under the influence of drugs and alcohol from the party he'd been in attendance at the night before. He even attacked a reporter as he was about to enter the building. He lives in California. You can get a direct flight to Heathrow from Los Angeles. It's a 10 and a half hour flight. A stopover in Miami is not required when flying from Lax to London. Flying direct from Los Angeles is the normal way. I've flown this route several times and there are no stops. He's up to no good in Miami. Furthermore, he looks like he's been doing some heavy duty drinking and drug taking, which is exactly what goes on. His flying from Los Angeles to London via Miami makes no sense at all. If he's with the plebs flying commercial, there are plenty of nonstop flights. If he is connecting, there are so many places that make more sense. One of the photo captions reads, Once Harry accidentally bumped into a photographer outside the Royal Court of Justice, which puts the onus on Harry to bump into the cameraman, not the other way around. He intentionally punched the photographer in the gut. If you see the whole video, Harold actually spots the cameraman, glances back for a photo, then takes two deliberate steps to walk into the cameraman. He did walk straight into him. Shows his arrogance that he just expected the guy to move out of his way, instead of stepping to the side of the photographer. So basically he's a victim because people don't get out of his way. The security guard lightly pushes him out of the way before Harry comes back. He's right there, and the photographer lightly hits the fence, and he rebounds forward, then runs into Harry. I can't really see his reaction, but he seems a bit dim to me. All to get the shot not defending Harry's actions. He's then too. These people walk around so self, importantly that they can never slow down. Harry blew off the side door with four bodyguards of these Scotland Yard Protection Officers. Does he really need four bodyguards? Elton John arrived with zero bodyguards and used the much more sensible side door, which apparently the courts encourage for all high-profile attendees. I'm always impressed by Sir Elton. He's a hell of a lot wealthier than has been. It didn't need any security. Also a sober suit. Compared to the lively clothes that we usually see him in, go Elton.